People sometimes ask me how long a queen lives. Here's one here. You can see her blue marking. So we know she's the original queen. That corresponds to this tag. Also marked in blue. So she was installed in the summer of 2020. So she's now, this is her third year of production. And she looks like she's pretty diligent. You can see her sticking her head in every cell, looking for a place to lay the next egg. And wait, we might, might just see her lay an egg. She uses her body to gauge the size of the cells. If her he only her head fits in, it's the right size for a worker. If her shoulders fit in, it's the right size for a, a work a drone. She's looking for worker cells. All of these already have eggs in them. Oh, there she's laying an egg down. And done. On to the next one. So if you think the queen has it easy, that's how she spends her day. Check, check, check. And also while she's walking around on these frames, she's leaving pheromone on them that's, tell, that's sort of marking them as uh, telling her workers where she wants to lay eggs. Oh, and now she's going to go hide out of the sun. This queen has a nice yellow dot on her. This is one of my queens I raised last year. Got her in the sun, so I can't, I have to hold my arm up to shade her. But uh, she's looking really happy too. But she's, uh, well, based on the tag for her, she was put in this hive last year in May, but would have been raised as a cell in the summer of 2021. So she's, this is going into her second full year heading this colony. And the queens just drive around, drive through, kind of bulldoze through those clusters of bees looking for something that needs to be fixed. She marks it with her body as she's constantly moving around. The bees know what they have to do to get it ready for her.